So do you suffer from depression? I mean, do you have, do you have do you, are you medicated? I'm medicated. You are. Yeah. So you go to a psychiatrist and he I go gives... to a psychiatrist right. and I'm somewhat medicated, not, you know, not crazy levels, but I'm but I have someone who got to the point where and I only started doing it a few years ago, but I got to the point of I used to think I needed to be incredibly unhappy to be funny. Right. And then you get to a point where you think um and you ha- and people tell you that's not true. I, uh, you get to a point where you don't care if it's true or not. Right, because you so You depressed. really don't. You just think, you know what, I'd rather be happy. And so... It seems like that's the myth. You've got to be this miserable, depressed human being in order to be funny. And uh, when you went for the medication, you were so bad, in other words, you just said, fuck it. I don't care. So I won't be funny, but I can't live my life being a depressed guy. I'm a father. I'm, I'm on this kind yeah, of Yeah, I've got two kids. I've got a wife. I, I, I just need help. And also, I realized I'm wasting time... I'm not, uh, I'm being so negative sometimes in rehearsal. I'm being so negative about everything we're trying that it's actually a drag on us being able to do good work. It's with getting the, in the way. Uh, with the medication, are you happier now? You know what it is? I found, uh, it, for the most part, yes. What it is, is someone explained it really well. It's like a little bit of a lever. It gives you a little bit of a push. It doesn't change your personality, but enables you to keep going. I think that's what it does. It enables you, it's almost like a, it's like a little bit of oil on the gears. Did you take it as a defeat when the, the when you finally gave in to medication where you're like, oh At shit. first I did. Yeah. I remember when the person told me, uh, I went in for the test and they said, I, you're depressed. And I said, I'm not depressed. And I actually argued with them. But what and is depression? She, I and mean, then she said, I, she read me a, a sheet. She said, I just asked you 50 questions and the, the, the 48 you answered 48 that pointed to depression. <laughs> but I was arguing with her. Uh, uh, suicidal ever? No, God, no. Never no, that bad. Never that. No, but I'm, just too, like, I'm w- too, I too... I like myself too much. Right. But you wake up in the morning and sometimes you would go, oh, fuck. I, I just I can't stand what I'm doing. Nothing seems funny. Nothing seems like worth... There was a lot of... You know, it's funny because the years... Year, I mean, to come here to do the show, we just walked near uh, 30 Rock, which is where I did the NBC show for so many years, for 16 years, and, and also sent out live for almost, what, three, four years. So almost 20 years in that building. And I loved it. It was great. It was one of the best things probably, you know, that's, that's ever happened to me. You were an NBC guy. I was an NBC guy. I really loved it. But I remembered just walking here to the McGraw-Hill building to do this, walking near 30 Rock and remembering every morning walking into that building and having this incredible anxiety and you feel like it's a low ceiling cloud, you know, just like I, I've got to get up there and I would take the elevator up and my heart's pounding and we've got to make this good and there's pressure. To this day, I, mean, I remember going to do the Letterman show uh, after I'd been fired by NBC. So I used to hate walking into NBC so bad, I thought I wanted to just kill myself. Yeah. Like literally, I would get such anxiety. Like it was like being at school and knowing you're going to flunk a test. Yep. And uh, I know that kind of anxiety. It's awful when you walk in and your whole body seems to just react to it. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah, I get it. 